Hello CNC students, Mr. Kyrie again. Uh, today we're going to talk about measuring some angles and specifically about how to use a sign bar. So why would we use a sign bar? Where would we use it? So let's talk about that for a minute. So let's look at a little sample part. This is one of our, our project pieces from MT201. Uh, these are side plates for our tape dispenser. So we have an angle machine on this part. So how, how do we inspect that angle? Well, there's a couple ways. Uh, the first way is what we call semi-precision measurement. We can use a protractor. And we can put our protractor up against this edge um, and kind of try to measure this angle. You can see it's a little bit awkward. Maybe it works better this way, trying to measure the angle. Even, even when I get this located on here, and I check this angle, really my accuracy on this is probably no better than plus or minus uh, one degree, uh, which can be okay for some applications, but also uh, it's not very accurate, especially with some precision machining. So how can we measure that? Well, we have another tool called a sign bar. You might recognize that name sign from our trigonometry problems that we did before. And uh, that's exactly why this is called a sign bar because we're going to set up a triangle with this bar. A couple of important things we need to know is, is there's some pins on the bottom and these pins are a set distance apart which is going to give us one to the one side of our triangle. In this case they're five inches apart. So I need to set up a 45 degree angle with a five inch sign bar. So how do I do that? Well, let's go back to the classroom and I'll show you how. Okay, so now we're back in the classroom going to talk continually about our, our sign bar again. Uh, and we need to set up a 45 degree angle on the sign bar. So how does this work? Well, to set our sign bar, we have to know this distance between these pins. And these will vary. Some of them are 5 inch, some are 7 inch, some are 10 inch uh, sign bars. They're, they even make full big sign plates. Uh, that can go up on an angle, which helps us to set our part on. So here's the principle. If we know, if we know what that leg is, um, we're going to make that leg our hypotenuse in our triangle. This is a right triangle, and we're going to make this our hypotenuse. So that hypotenuse is going to equal 5 inches always. We also know that we want to set this at a 45 degree angle. So this angle becomes 45 degrees. So the side that we want to solve for is this side. And this side is what? That's our opposite side, correct? So that's our opposite side. What this represents is gauge blocks that we're going to stack on top of each other and put underneath this pin, and we're going to raise that sign bar to a 45 degree angle. So again, we're going to use our trusty TI-30X calculator. This is your best friend in your toolbox. Um, and we're going to use one of, our, one of our formulas that we used before, how to uh, calculate for a side when we know one angle and one side, because we do know one angle and one side, the hypotenuse. We want to solve for the opposite side. So here's our formula. Everything with the purple box is actually the, physically the button you push on this calculator. So we're going to type in our hypotenuse, which is 5. Let's do that together. 5 times our angle, which is 45 degrees. Sine equals 3.536 if we round it off. So we're going to go back into the shop now and we're going to take a uh, gauge block, stack up 3 inch 536, put it under one side of our sign bar and we're going to have a 45 degree angle and I'll show you how to check it after that. Okay, so now we've calculated what our gauge block height should be. That number was 3 inch 536. We're going to use that to set our sign bar. So I've already stacked the gauge blocks. I have a three inch block, a 400 thousandths block, and a 136 block stacked together. So that gives us our number. 
So I'm gonna take this gauge block, I'm gonna turn it sideways, and I'm gonna put one of these pins uh, up on top of this sign, this, uh, on top of the gauge blocks. So I'll gently do that. So right now what we've done is we've put this sign bar on exactly a 45 degree angle. And you'll see, if I place my part on here, um, that now this has become horizontal to our gate to our uh, surface plate. Now we can take an indicator, we can measure across that, we can measure for any uh, irregularities in that size. Um, if this isn't flat at this point, I know my machining's off, and I can alter my gauge blocks a little bit to find out exactly what angle it is. Maybe I need to alter my program or do an offset somehow, but it gives me a good way to measure this off the machine. This sign bar can also be used in the machine. Uh, sometimes we'll set these in the machine and put a part on it and clamp it in the vise. That way we've created the angle here and then we can just machine flat. Uh, we can also use the sign bar to put on our vise, to put our vise on angle. A lot of different uses for this. Uh, really handy tool to set up angles and check them very accurately. Uh, keep making chips, keep having fun.